this is uncomfortable. Yeah, it's a different to, way of shooting for sure. Yeah, uh, to my future wife, probably not gonna get on one knee. Uh, I'll probably just ask you to marry me. 360 no scope. Not just oh, playing. Dude, that would have sucked if you would have shot. I ain't had no earplugs on. Me either. I don't know what the heck that was. Should have took my time a lot more. But listen, we pro amateur shooters, not professional shooters. Y'all, we regular people. Regular nine to fives. Broke. Please support us. Hey, hit us up on that cash app. That super thanks. Come on now. I'm trying to do this full time. Then I could be a professional shooter. Welcome back to the channel today, guys. My name is Alex. And I'm Richard. And we are your favorite pro amateur shooters. Oh, yeah. Today, we have one of the more anticipated videos on our channel. Yep, y'all keep hitting us up about the update. And as y'all can see in the title, the Smith & Wesson SD9 2.0. Now, it's been, what, a month and a half since we made our last video? Two months? It might be like two months, bro. Yeah, so here's what happened. The gun, we were filming a video with it. The trigger died for the second time. Now, I was going to send it to Smith & Wesson the next day, but it was in the middle of the summer. My kids wanted to go on a vacation, so I took vacation. I could not send off this gun while I was on the vacation because, you know, I didn't want it to. <laughs> then I came back. Then we finally got it, called up Smith. Smith said, hey, what'd you guys do to the gun? I said, absolutely nothing. Everything's on video that we've ever done to it. So, uh, so look at the videos if you guys are curious. They didn't they even subscribe. They didn't even watch our videos, y'all. They didn't want to fix it for the second time, but they said, okay, we'll do it. Uh, obviously, it's nothing that we did. So we sent it back to them. They fixed the trigger. We had got it back. It took about two weeks to do that whole entire thing. And we've had it for about two weeks. Yeah. So the reason why we haven't made a video with it is because there's been other things we've had to do. But hey, now we're out here with it. We're going to get this video guy video all done today i'm not gonna lie y'all he said a lot of stuff I ain't gonna lie me personally i would just told y'all to watch the other videos to catch up but yeah, yeah essentially uh gun was bad had to send it to smith and wesson twice for the same exact problem we got all the videos on the channel if you don't believe us go watch them you, you guys told us a whole bunch of stuff we were doing wrong which we ended up being doing right smith and wesson told us it was just a default uh, defective trigger today we are going to see why people are calling this the best budget gun of 2024 in our comments below. Hopefully it's all fixed to the point where we can actually shoot it the whole video. Wish us luck. Yep, we're going to put a bunch of rounds down range. We got three different targets already set up back here. Yes, I we think do. we need to get right into the video. Let's just, yeah, you talked all freaking intro. They tired of hearing us talk now. We got to go straight to the video. All right, Alex, tell them what we got first, man. So we got this person target set up down here just a human silhouette yep the uh yellow one we got the smith and wesson sd9 we got 10 rounds loaded up now by the way y'all just for a heads up if you don't know about the sd9 msrp is around 350 300 dollars uh comes with one mag one mag and it, it holds and about in a cardboard box in a cardboard box right <laughs> <laughs> so it is a it is a budget friendly gun it's good for that reason we're hoping that this thing is shooting amazing now We've been shooting mini micro guns, like very small pocket concealment guns for the last probably two weeks. Mm -hmm. And it's going to feel good to shoot a full size. Yeah, I'm excited to shoot a full size again. So I'm going for the head this time. And uh, about five really to seven yards to say, out. But let's get it. Three, two. Okay, good hit shot. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. You drop them down a little bit. There you go, back to the head. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and walk up to it. See that performance. Smell that gunpowder. Mm -hmm. So first off, I went here, feeling good about it. I moved over a little bit. Got these. I did drop down a couple of my shops. I was probably pulling for recoil, but uh, very tired, very hot today. We've been out here for a long, long time. So uh, it's not gonna be the best shots we've ever done. And we pro amateurs, so it's not gonna be the best shots anyway. Perfect. I'm gonna see how Richard goes. You're gonna go here. You know it. And you, you're gonna try gear? Yeah, of course. Maybe if, if, I do good, good? if I do good at the middle, I'm definitely going there. All right, let's see how he does. Let's do it. So real quick question, Alex. How'd you feel about the trigger pull on this thing? Well. Again, we've been shooting those small guns. It feels pretty good. Okay. It feels a little sloppy to me. That's why I asked. 
But uh, I got my 10 shots loaded up. And uh, I'm going for that middle. So let's see Hold what on. I got. Let me know when you're ready. Ready. No lock, lock back. back on me, but performed amazing. Let's take a look at it. Like Alex said, we've been shooting micro pistols all for the past two weeks. So it feels good to shoot a nine millimeter full size. As y'all can see, my grouping was down here, shot the red. So I moved up here, shot these super accurate. I'm liking how it's shooting. By the way, we got it for 300 bucks. So performing like this, I do see why you guys are seeing this gun is elite, but uh, so what we're gonna do, come on over. So one of the videos that we shot, I accidentally shot the target stand. So now we gotta shoot a little bit shorter. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a one knee shot, right? We're gonna be on one knee and we're gonna shoot and we're gonna see how accurate we can do it. Uh, probably a little 10 more up. And uh, actually, so it holds 16. So we'll do load. Uh, Might as well do 16. We'll do the whole 16, right? Alex is going to shoot the tops. He's going to shoot five here, five here, and shoot five here. So we'll do 15. Okay. We'll do five, 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 and then I go bottom, five, five, five. Let's see how it performs. Let's do it. All righty, Alex. All right, just like Richard said, I'm going to get down on one knee. Now, whoa. <laughs> All right. So, shooting like this. You want me to go top first or middle first? Uh, it's up to you. You got 15 shots loaded up. That in perfectly. I'm gonna go top left. Perfect. Okay, top go to the right. right one. Perfect. Too low. All right, Too go low. for dead shot middle. All right, middle. That looks amazing, Alex. Did I shoot too many on the top? You did, you did, but it's all good. Uh, I was trying to count those. The groupings are pretty good here. Like these, doubled up on several of them. This one, pretty good. This one, again, I'm happy with all that. Oh yeah. Uh, I was shooting pretty fast. The barrel is super hot. <laughs> But uh, it's shooting amazingly. Yes, sir. So we're going to go on to Richard. Let's see how he does on these bottom two in the middle. Let's do it. Richard, what you doing down there on one knee? I ain't going to lie. This is uncomfortable. Yeah, it's a different to, way of shooting for sure. Yeah. Uh, to my future wife, probably not going to get on one knee. Uh, I'll probably just ask you to marry me. But uh, yeah, I got 15 loaded up. What I'm going to do, because it looks like it's probably the distance that we're at. We're shooting really good. I'm going to try to shoot a little bit faster and uh to see how we can do so let's load it up and just let me know you're ready you're good All right, it never locks back on me. Uh, of course, I think if I would've took my time, all the shots would be way more accurate. I went to shoot a little faster. One thing I can say, the reset is a little bit weird for me. The reset's too long. It's, it's a long reset. So as y'all can see, that's a shot, reset. You think it's there, it's that's not. That's reset, yeah. So uh, I kept anticipating it and uh, it's, it's a little bit weird, but as you can see, still shot really good. Ooh, that little breeze. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So as y'all can see, really good, really good, uh, decent, but then super accurate. So I think it did really good. What me and Alex are gonna do, we're gonna go back. We're going back further. It's a full size nine millimeter anyway. And we're gonna shoot at our steel target and see what we can do. Bow, let's do it. All righty, talk to him, Alex. Two things I wanna mention. Loading up this mag because it is chromed you get sweaty hands, and this thing is so hard to load. It does go in and out of the gun 
perfectly. So that part's good, but when you're loading it up, being that chrome kind of finish, it just gets wet mm -hmm. like crazy. So anyway, we're about 15 yards out, a little rent. This thing's also super hot, like insanely hot. Not too hot to touch, but super hot. Mm -hmm. Anyway, 15 yards out, we got our steel target back there. And uh, I'm gonna mag dump into the target and see how good this thing is. Mag dump, oh you gangster. That's right, should I go sideways? <laughs> <laughs> no sideways shooting. You ready? Yep, let's do it. Three, two, one. You got one more? That's it. Okay. 10 shots. I think I might've pulled what, one of them? Yeah, I think I heard like nine. So nine out of 10, that's really good from this far back as fast as I was shooting. Yes, sir. Let's see how Richard does. Let's do it. Talk to me, Richard. This is such a hot gun. Probably not gonna mag dump it like Alex did, but uh, if I get comfortable, I'll probably start pulling it uh, faster. But uh, let's, see what, let's see what I can do. Let me know you ready. I'm good. Okay, I don't know what the heck that was. Should have took my time a lot more, but it shot good. It's just me being trash. But listen, we pro amateur shooters, not professional shooters. Y'all, we regular people, regular nine to fives, broke. Please support us. Hey, hit us up on that cash app. That's super thanks. Come on now, I'm trying to do this full time. Then I could be a professional shooter. Alrighty, Alex. Yeah, that first little mag dump I did felt really really good so we went five more rounds 25 yards out i'm going to take this one a lot slower and really make sure i'm hitting my target and i do want to let y'all know it looks closer just because of how the lens how good the lens is but it's super far from us right now yep you ready let's do it three two yes That was actually a good performance. Three out of five, again, not bad. The further you go out with these pistols, the less accurate you be. And the more experienced you are, the better you'll be, because you can obviously put in experience over you know, these guns. But again, I'm happy with that, with my shootability. Let's see how Richard does five more shots on him. Let's do it. How you feeling, Richard? I'm feeling all right. I'm not known to be good at a long range shooting, but I'm, I'm known to be shooting better than you so typically that means i'm at least gonna match your three shots or more all right let's see let's do it i ain't gonna lie this is further than expected man really is did you have to aim up higher hold on let me focus this there you go you ready yep If I had one extra shot, if I had 10 extra shots, I'd hit all of them. That did really well. I had to adjust. I shot higher because I thought, you know, bullet drop and stuff. But also, it is a pistol, so I shouldn't have to shoot higher. Uh, 25 yards is pretty far. But, uh, yeah, that, that did great for both parties. So, definitely great performance yep. from this. All right, y'all. Last but not least, we got this water jug all the way back here. And we got Alex. Let me walk up to him real quick. We got Alex with some hollow points. That's right. Got two hollows loaded up in here. It's a good test to see how this feeds with hollows and it's fun to shoot water. So the goal is, is that I'm standing far enough back to, uh, to catch the bullet and close enough to hit my target the first time because hollows are more expensive. Yes, sir. So without further ado, let's see if you can catch a bullet. Perfect. That, I doubt you caught that, buddy. I doubt I did too. Let's unload the gun. Yes, sir. It's unloaded now. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think you caught it up in that. We're gonna thing. need several. This is we're new to this, guys. So we're gonna need several. Told of these you we should have been further out. back. But look at that freaking energy transfer. I mean, it blew it straight out. That's crazy. It it went through this as well. So you can see the entrance and exit. Dang. So I might have got it right on its side. 
and blew it out that way. Well, it is what it is. The slow mo camera should look good on it though. Hopefully, we'll All right. find out. All right, Richard, talk to us. All right, so we already know most people uh, conceal carry nine millimeter hollow points. So uh, this final test is basically to see if a watermelon was ever robbing you, what would happen if you shoot it. And, and by the way, y'all, it is common. Let's do it. You think it's dead? Definitely. Let's go ahead and look at it. Ooh, look at all that watermelon juice. <laughs> mm. What about the watermelon? <laughs> I shoot bad like you. I shot the side. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think uh, that is a good amount of damage right there from one hollow. Let's let's flip it around and shoot one time with a with the FMJ. Let's do it. Just to see. All right, y'all. Mr. Adrenaline and Alex back on that one knee. That's right. We got a FMJ, just a single FMJ. I'm gonna try to shoot right in the middle. We're not that far out. We're just gonna see if it does do anything like the hollow point did, which I doubt it. Definitely not. It's a nice entrance wound though. It is beautiful. Nice entrance wound. Now, this is what I will say. If you're wanting to slice a watermelon, a FMJ, might be the way to be because it gives you a nice place to push on and open that bad boy up. Look at that. Mmm. Oh yeah, the deer's gonna eat good tonight. Yeah, they are. Uh, I'm not gonna taste it today because uh, it looks pretty gross. I'm it, not gonna it lie. It looks extremely disgusting. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we're gonna leave it out here. We got a bunch of creatures in these woods. They'll come up. They will have a feast of a lifetime tonight and enjoy this meal we made for them. Yes, sir. Well, that's it. We're going to do a closeout. We'll be good to go. 360 no scope. Not just oh, playing. Dude, that would have sucked if you would have shot. I ain't had no earplugs on. Me either. <laughs> All right, y'all. Goodness, there's a fly that just keeps in my ear. I'm about to mag dump that thing. That's why I got the SD9 for. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for making it to the end of this video. Of course, that was the Smith & Wesson SD9 2.0. And do you say it's worth the $300? Yeah, I mean, it was a great, it was a great, uh, Great, it performed great. I'm tired. It is really hot out here. We've All been I can think of is great right now. Yeah, they're great. <laughs> um, the, the trigger mechanism, it's still a little funky, man. It's not as crisp as a M&P, but it's also several hundred dollars, less than the full size. Mm -hmm. Hundred dollars over the cheapest uh, uh, shield. So, it's an awesome gun. I definitely think it's amazing for the price. Uh, it definitely changed my outlook on this gun. Of course, once again, once we said we bought the gun, didn't work at all, sent it back to Smith & Wesson, they sent it back to us. We got about 200 rounds in. It was a fun, good comparison with the actual other one. Of course, check those videos out. Today, we did the accuracy test on it and it performed amazing. Do I think it's worth the $300? I do. I do say if you buy it, come out to the range, put at least like 200 rounds through it just to make Minimal. sure. Minimal. Yeah, just to make sure it's gonna shoot all the way because like I said, the errors that we had. I think it's a- We had a lot of people that had the same errors and yeah. a lot of people that didn't, so. Trigger spring mechanism that, that sucks on it. People are like, just replace the trigger, but. I'm not about to spend all that extra money after we already got this budget gun. On, yeah, on a, on a budget gun, really. So, um, anyway, it performed great. We shot long range, we got shot short range. We shot on a knee. We shot fun stuff like bottles of water and Watermelon, what else should we shoot? No glass. I don't want to shoot glass because it's so hard to shoot pick glass. up. Yeah. Anything that's not glass, let us know what you want us to shoot in the comments. Yeah, if it's an army tank, we'll shoot that next, you know? Cause yeah. we, and keep we it a, keep it YouTube appropriate. Right, right, please. And keep it uh, budget appropriate too. Listen, yes. unless y'all gonna send us the money to yeah. get whatever, now, please keep it budget Clear ballistics, if you're watching this, send us one of those. I would love to shoot one of those, but right. uh, we don't got the money for it right now. Right. So yeah, we appreciate y'all appreciate y'all for making it to the end of this video. If y'all want to sponsor us, hit us up on our email or hit us up on our Instagram. Socials are linked in the description below. Uh if y'all want to help us with the range, uh, as y'all can see, we got new stuff in the range. We got new targets. It's still finally uh We're moving up, but it's, it's slow. It's slowly but surely. Uh the more y'all donate, the more quicker we're able to do it. Uh everything that you send us goes straight back to the channel. We do appreciate y'all. 
uh, keep that engagement up. At least if you don't want to send any money, just make sure you comment, like, yeah. subscribe, send it to somebody. Uh, and that helps us, of course, make more money, make um uh, Two A content subscribers. is so like strangled right now. Yeah, yeah. You and know, we, YouTube, YouTube really wants to get rid of the Two A community. We got you know, into it at to... the wrong time, but it's our passion. We want to, we want to get these videos out to people and, it's and fun. show you how good or bad these guns are. And we're, we don't get sent anything, so we're a hundred percent. Oh honest. yeah, no oh, one's yeah. paying our yeah. bills. We. But us. Yeah, we work in regular nine to fives, and we come out and spend our own budget on it. Now, y'all can say, of course, that's y'all, but I mean, it's a small investment. Hopefully, in the future, it'll pay off. Yep. Thank y'all for rocking with us. We'll see you on the next video. Triggered easily. easily.